The Science of Being Well by Wallace D. Wattle Chapter 9 When to Eat You cannot build and maintain a perfectly healthy body by mental action alone or by the performance of the unconscious or involuntary functions alone. There are certain actions more or less voluntary which have a direct and immediate relation with the countenance of life itself. These are eating, drinking, breathing, and sleeping. No matter what man's thought or mental attitude may be, he cannot live unless he eats, drinks, breathes, and sleeps. And moreover, he cannot be well if he eats, drinks, breathes, and sleeps in an unnatural or wrong manner. It is therefore vitally important that you should learn the right way to perform these voluntary functions, and I shall proceed to show you this way, beginning with the matter of eating, which is most important. There has been a vast amount of controversy as to when to eat, what to eat, how to eat, and how much to eat, and all this controversy is unnecessary, for the right way is very easy to find. You have only to consider the law which governs all attainment, whether of health, wealth, power, or happiness, and that law is that you must do what you can do now, where you are now, do every separate act in the most perfect manner possible, and put the power of faith into every action. The processes of digestion and assimilation are under the supervision and control of an inner division of man's mentality, which is generally called the subconscious mind, and I shall use that term here in order to be understood. The subconscious mind is in charge of all the functions and processes of life, and when more food is needed by the body, it makes the fact known by causing a sensation called hunger. Whenever food is needed and can be used, there is hunger. Whenever there is hunger, it is time to eat. When there is no hunger, it is unnatural and wrong to eat, no matter how great may appear to be the need for food. Even if you are in a condition of apparent starvation with great emaciation, if there is no hunger, you may know that food cannot be used, and it will be unnatural and wrong for you to eat. Though you may have not have eaten for days weeks or months, if you have no hunger, you may be perfectly sure that food cannot be used and will probably not be used if taken. Whenever food is needed, if there is power to digest and assimilate it so that it can normally be used, the subconscious mind will announce the fact by a decided hunger. Food, taken when there is no hunger, will sometimes be digested and assimilated because nature makes a special effort to perform the task which is thrust against her will, but if food be habitually taken when there is no hunger, the digestive power is at last destroyed and numberless evils caused. If the foregoing be true, and it is indisputably so, it is self-evident proposition that the natural time and healthy time to eat is when one is hungry, and that it is never a natural or healthy action to eat when one is not hungry. You see, then, that it is an easy matter to scientifically settle the question when to eat. Always eat when you are hungry, and never eat when you are not hungry. This is obedience to nature, which is obedience to God. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons. <laughs>